Hello everybody and welcome to our second section called Styling Your App. Our first video in this section is going to be about implementing the Bootstrap mobile first grid system. So in this video we are going to take a look at how does the Bootstrap 4 grid system work, what are some of the grid system options that we can use, of course what are some of the Flexbox benefits and more importantly what are some of the responsive features that we can use with Bootstrap 4. So to get us started let's look at the documentation page for the Bootstrap grid system. So if we zoom in to this, we can see that the Bootstrap Grid documentation is very extensive, which is actually a good thing. And you should definitely study this very, very hard and learn this to the point where you know it in your sleep. Because knowing the Bootstrap for Grid System, and for that matter, any Grid System in any framework is probably the most important thing you need to learn because you will be doing a lot of things with the grid system especially with Flexbox since that is the default way that the Bootstrap 4 grid system is created. So basically in this introduction section you will see that in order to make a grid we need three classes actually. The first one is the container, the second one is row, and the last one is our actual column, which again has multiple different classes, if you will. So these two are mostly going to be the same unless we want to use a full width container. But we'll get to that. And of course, you need to remember these Bootstrap 4 grid options. There are five in Bootstrap 4. This is a change since Bootstrap 3, so it's really important that you learn which size does trigger each grid class. So for example, you will see that the extra large class called Excel will apply only if the screen is bigger than 1200 pixels, large will be only if the screen is bigger than 992 pixels and so on and so forth. Of course the Bootstrap 4 grid system is still a 12 column grid system and it has the gutter width or the spacing between columns of 30 pixels which means 15 pixels on each side. So the first thing we are going to take a look is how to build a simple grid system. Now when we're building a simple grid system it's very important to know that by default bootstrap grid system is responsive which means if we just use the given classes we will actually have a responsive website to a degree. So what I've done is I've created a simple HTML page. I've actually taken the exact same content from our previous HTML and I have created a simple container with a row and for now I created three divs with the class of call. Now this is actually something new that was introduced in Bootstrap 4. If you apply just the call class, that means you are essentially using what they are calling auto layout. So if we go to the documentation of the auto layout, you will see if you use the class of call, Bootstrap will do whatever it needs to do to make sure that every div or every column that you've added is basically equal width. So if you add two of them, they will be split 50-50. If you add three of them, they will be 33%, 33%, 33%, and so on and so forth. So by doing so, we have three columns and we've decided to use the auto layout by just adding the class of call. We can take a look at how this essentially looks like. It's exactly like this. And if we go into the Mozilla developer tools and then fire off the responsive design mode, you can see that on a mobile phone, which again is 320 by 480, or if you want to select a specific device, for example, like iPhone 6 Plus, which is a bit bigger, you can. But for now, let's keep it at iPhone 6S. You see that the Bootstrap Auto Layout and the Bootstrap Grid System have actually taken care of the basics of the responsive design. 
This means that your columns are not floating or if you will are one next to the other but are actually one below the other because it would be too much to fit. So if we try to expand you will see that above 460 these do get to be one next to each other and then of course on the web you can see them growing and growing to their original size and finally on the web they look like this now we can get the same layout by using a different set of class names so essentially if we wanted to target a specific class we can by using for example call md which is the most commonly used class as a starting point because it covers everything above 760 pixels which is largely what any normal desktop size would be so if we do call md4 and then copy this over we do now get the same result of course we can change this we can go and do something like let's do half half and then 12 so now we've done a more complex grid which will have two columns 50 50 percent and then one 100 percent which looks which will have two columns and of course so when we go to the responsive design mode you will see they will all be 100 percent of the width now of course one more interesting thing to note is that right now you can see that we are not using 100 percent of the screen my browser is zoomed in so i will zoom out a bit and you will actually see that here we are not using 100 percent of the screen so if we want to change that all we have to do is actually add container fluid to our container class and you can see that right now we are using width of 100 percent instead of the default bootstrap grid width which is 1170 pixels so right here the width is now 100 percent so if we want to take this to better our responsive design view we can actually use that so bootstrap allows us to basically combine multiple classes if we wanted to so we can decide that for example on let's say something like a tablet size which would be above 481 i would say that these two can be 50% and this one should be 100%. So for that we can call sm class. So we could say call sm6 and we can use the same one here and then we'll use this one our last column which will be 100% of the width. So now if we take a look you can see that on tablet devices this is 50% 50% and then 100%. So by default, we get to choose how our grid looks like when moving from smaller to bigger sizes, or in this case, from bigger to smaller sizes. So these are one of the benefits of using the Bootstrap grid system is that you can target specific media queries and specific sizes just by using the five grid tiers that the Bootstrap comes with so now again this will look normal in our desktop mode now there are a couple of benefits of using flexbox so for example as you can see i have different content in each of these classes so as you can see right now they all have shorter content than the other that is because i wanted to show you the power of flexbox when using the grid system so as you can see i've navigated us to alignment section in the grid system and as you can see we have vertical alignment and of course horizontal alignment so for now we're going to take a look at the vertical alignment so bootstrap offers us a lot of choices like start and but the most important one is this one so if we want to align our columns to be in the center all we actually have to do is add a new class to the row element of align item center and voila now our content is center aligned so if you've been doing web development for a really long time you know that this was mission impossible without the power of flexbox again another cool feature that you get with the power of flexbox is the ordering of the elements 
So previously, without using Flexbox, if your column is first in HTML, that's how it's going to appear. It was very hard to, for example, move that column to a second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever the place is. But using the power of Flexbox, the Bootstrap Grid system allows us to, for example, place the first item in our HTML to actually be the last. So let's say we want to move this column in this place. So if we want to actually do that, all we need to add is add a class of order last to it and voila, our first column just became our last column. And this is the power of the Flexbox powered grid system that Bootstrap 4 uses. Again, there are a lot more features and we will cover some of them in the future. But for now, this is a small introduction video to getting to know the grid system and what the power of Flexbox is and what are some of the benefits of responsive design in terms of Bootstrap 4.